In the previous episode, we finished the walls and rail for the stairwell inside the underground Earthbag Muse Art Studio. Dad and Garen begin planning for the Murphy bed. We're looking at Murphy bed um, spring designs. This picture showing. Here's the bracket. Found some things that were like springs and hydraulics. And uh, the springs seemed to make the most sense to me. We had the materials around here, so that made it even better. And um, just started watching, looking, drawing. This whole section here is going to be right in here. And then we kind of just spent a couple hours figuring out exactly what we wanted to do. I think we got something now that'll be it'll be really good. Oh actually. yeah, the brilliant son has designed a a little bracket that will fit our situation. And I'm just trying to determine what uh, how to build the frame. Give them enough depth and room to be able to put everything in. Let's go three and a half inches to the edge of the bracket. Yeah, 59 inches. We can, uh... I've marked out one side of our bed we'll look where it will set approximately in here within about a half inch. There's plenty of room to, to get on either side of the bed. Cobb and oven. Ellie's coming to, come to help us out. Yay! I'm gonna go ahead and put a can light downstairs. What are you thinking right here? That looks good. Hey, Dad! Hey, what? You come down here for a sec? Hey, what? I'll dollar, got a buck. How does this light look? Pretty even? I measured each post. This is half mark here on this post. It's just half mark here on this post. I meant to put it right in the center. Yeah, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. That'd be a nice light down here. Yeah, you found me. Good boy. The mirrors for down below. That someone very kindly gave to us. Thank you, Pam. These are gonna be awesome. Yeah, they're um, jet mirrors. How should I attach these things? That was. Cut this back a little bit. I think so. Originally put the steps together, I made them all the same, forgetting that the top step needs to be shorter to account for whatever surface you're gonna have up above. Extremely soft. I mean, here's here's the plastic here. It's just like it's not like you would expect. Like I would expect this to crack. Like it would be hard, but it, it's not really that hard. It's actually soft. At the base of the stairs, we have this solar light, which we originally put uh, reflective foam in. Oh, on the top, you can't. Well, first of all, I'm going to get a taller ladder. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the the foam where the solar light comes in at the base of the steps. I think they're more reflective than a mirror. Oh, yeah, you can get some reflective. No, because I have to put sunglasses when installing it. It seems excessive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the sun. Don't look at it directly. There's metal on here and metal on the back. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. Nothing like seeing yourself everywhere. <laughs> Last melon. Ice age quote. Blinding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like they're good enough, so mm -hmm. we're good. Now we'll shut off lights and see how much brighter it is. Ready? Yeah. Oh wow. That is a whole ton better. It's yeah, look, it's clean. even it's even reflecting off the off the wall. It's really dirty, but up there, but wow. Look, yeah, we need to we'll clean it before we cap it. But. Perfect. We're done. Alright, so it's that time of year to go out and check the bees. So, here's the hive. They're moving in and out. So I gotta get the top off. They filled up the entire hive. As you saw, they just immediately swarmed me. Just like that. This is why we wear a bee suit in this area. I'm, one, of, one of the hives is completely full and really healthy. Okay, now this. This is a very cool frame. Come over here and show you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all honey. So we can see that from here over, they've capped this much, 
There's still this other half that's not been capped yet. I'm, I'm gonna wait until it's capped before I harvest it. It's a very neat process. Going through and all reorganizing them now because they, the, I built the bars so that they build the comb like this and they built it like this. So there's only a few frames that are good. So I'm going through and reorganizing the whole thing. This frame is the one I cut a day ago. And see, they built that much comb in a day. So hopefully they'll rebuild this comb. So I'm keeping the queen on one side. This is my queen excluder I put on there. That's that. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back now. All right, so I got them all wrapped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back. I'm really hoping to get some good honey. This is gonna be for our Murphy bed. Oh, it's got footprints on it. That's a Garen's footprints. And my table saw burned up over here, so I had another one. We need a little bit of work, so I worked on it this morning. And uh, it's actually a pretty nice saw. It's got extenders for plywood and stuff, which is what I need. The two little boxes that we have on either side of the bed uh, are designed to be able to hold the mechanical. Also too in our searching around we found uh, somebody who had a great design. All these pieces according to the diagram that uh, we picked up off the internet. And uh, as far as easy to build pieces of four sheets of plywood and uh, to make the frame in the box. This for the bed portion I cut them at 79 and a quarter inches long this way and then out of these three pieces we'll cut the side rails. The mattresses run somewhere between 7 and 12 inches uh, to the very pillow tops. But when you set on it, you want it, you want your legs to be able to, you know, go down over the side of the bed. So I think it's about a 5-inch rail, 5-inch header. And uh, today we put together the box, which was simple. It was a couple pieces of plywood and uh, nailed, or screwed, screwed and glued. That little measuring stick, you might say. Place it on here where the end of the cabinet's going to go. And they take measurements about every six inches all the way across to the wall or to my plywood and cut my piece and slip it in. This is the bottom piece, or actually the right side piece. It's going to go up and to the right side and it should fit right here against the wall and be the right side of our Murphy bed. Okay. We've got a few funky cuts that we have to get in there next to the cob. The cob usually comes up over the top of this, so I'm not worried about sanding it down or anything so it all gets buried. Hard to make a round cut with a straight saw. We're gonna do the same thing that we did in my room which is using these floor panels as ceiling panels inside of the base of the stairs. I can give it a little bit of a slant outwards, like this, so have it hang over an inch around the whole edges. Probably drop it down here and hang it over an inch. We can slide it up in and go and set it up there. I'll finish it next week. Well, let's not buy any metal, I can find it. Okay. I think we can get all of our metal out of this right here. From our little steel. Oh, we get scrap metal. Yeah, our little scrap metal, scrap metal we have. Yeah. We have it kind of sectioned off. Okay. Uh, we found a seat swivel from a, for a boat. It's a six inch plate with a nice swivel. And that's the main mechanism for both sides. And then there's a, an L bracket, and from the L bracket, we'll attach some springs to it, and that will be basically it. It's pretty simple. Oh, nice. Split it. You're good. Yay! Oh. Okay, cut this to an 11 inch piece. Is this the only flat metal we if have? If it's not 11 inches, we'll just go with it. We'll weld those two together. This guy is going to go on probably the other side and it'll sit about in here. But it will be functional. So these pieces are going to need quite a bit of cleaning done to them. 
need to clean up this area with the grinder so that it can fit evenly. Put it right there. Strings. Holes for this one. You want these holes too? Are right, you gonna start on the end here? Three or two. And then we'll go out. Probably four holes actually, and we'll go out in one inch increments. Bring this oh, up. check this out. You can set the depth. This way, I picked this thing up for 25 bucks at a garage sale. He wanted 50 for it. I was so excited. <laughs> the first time I've ever used a drill press. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, you want to go fastness. lowest to biggest because you want to go as slow as you can. Oh, okay. I would actually go down here first. Yeah. Manual speed. Not very hot either. Yeah. Which well, good thing it's I... not because you're right now. <laughs> right now. Oh yeah, touch that. That's a good idea. Well, we're seeing how hot it is. We don't <laughs> want to like just an L bracket really with a spring offset on the L bracket, and then I guess the seat swivel will be offset as well. Good. That way we'll get tension when the bed's coming down, um, so it doesn't just fall down. And it's also easier to lift up. Right? Yeah, it'll be easier to lift okay. up too. So that's gonna go on the left side of the bed. Nice. Next week, we're gonna get these two hinges installed and finish up the Murphy bed. Stay tuned for next time when we continue building on the Muse Art Studio. We won't be having our podcast this coming Wednesday, but we will be doing our weekly peek on Friday. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful week. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Poor things. They got caught up in a spider web. It's get really vicious when you uh, flick them. Then go and look back over here, and all the bees on the edges are all looking up at me. All of them. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I don't like, I'm not sure. Of course I'm sure. I'm always sure. I wake up sure. This is me, sure. For sound effects. Mom's like, in case it comes down, I want to like it. I want to like it.